This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of Horror Survival Series. In today's episode we are going to be uh, setting, setting up our project. Uh, so what I mean by that is we're gonna get all the blueprint uh, classes that we need from which we will expand upon the future. So, uh, we're gonna get the blank project in the 5.3.2 uh, uh, this is the newest version of Unreal Engine by now and uh, we're gonna get the blank project and uh, we are not gonna take starter content we are not gonna take ray tracing uh, it should be blueprint, desktop and quality preset maximum project name we can call it uh, for example uh, apocalypse I will call it apocalypse and I can press create. So let it load in the background and we're gonna continue with the tutorial once it loads. So here we are, the project loaded. First thing that we see when we load inside of the project is we have this giant open world map. But we don't want this. So first thing that you want to do is create a new level. You can select basic and now once you created that we can save this level as a test. It's going to be our test level. We can right click, new folder, create new map, call it maps, and move our test level inside of it. Next thing that we want to do is we are going to go to the edit, project settings, maps and modes, and our editor startup is going to be test and also game default map is going to be test. As you can see we have game mode base here and we have game instance and this is what we are going to be creating today so everything is set up. I'm going to create new folder, call it a core and I'm going to give it a color. We can give it a color of red just like that open it up and first thing uh, first is going to be our character character is basically something that we are going to be controlling so it's going to be some survival guy you know and uh, we are going to have a lot of stuff going inside going inside of it since it's a single player and um, yeah so think about it as a character like our little pawn that we are controlling with our player control which we are going to create as well first uh, it's going to be called apocalypse maybe we can uh, use it apo for a you know shortcut player character so this is our player character here if we open it up we have our viewport construction script and event graph but for now it's gonna stay like that. Then we're gonna create player controller, which is going to be used to control this character. It's going to be called Apo Gameplay Player Controller. Just like that. The new class, if we right click, blueprint class, is going to be game mode. Since this is going to be single player game, I'm going to use game mode base. And I'm going to call it Apo Gameplay Game Mode. Just like that. Also has the graph, construction script, and viewport. But we're not going to go over it today. We just want to set it up. So now that we are in the test level, we will go to the world settings. And if we don't have one, we're just gonna go to the window and find our world settings right here and tick them on again and we're gonna get them here game mode override is going to be apo gameplay game mode and now here uh, we can set our apo player character and apo gameplay player controller so since it's going to be a single player game game state and player state won't be needed here and the HUD is going to be none because we are going to be using UIs 
So that's for it right now. Next thing that I want to create here is game instance. Select game instance, call it Apo main game instance. Save it. So now if I go to edit project settings, I'm right here, I will go to my maps and modes and my game instance is going to be Apo main game instance. Make sure you change it here. Also, this game is going to be for the Windows only, so we will go to the supported platforms and untick Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, TV, iOS and set it only to be Windows. Then, I'm going to go to rendering and this is um, very optional but uh, let me just find it If I could find it now, it would be perfect here. Uh, I'm not gonna use Lumen. But if you want to use Lumen, feel free to do so. But it takes a lot of performance from me, so I'm not gonna use Lumen. And reflection mode is also going to be none. And my virtual shadow maps are gonna stay like that. So now we have this setup here which we are going to be using in our game but we also need something else we will create another folder call it UI in this folder I'm going to create widget blueprint so just right click user interface widget blueprint user widget call it VB master UI as a widget blueprint Inside of the widget blueprint I'm gonna create a little canvas and just for the sake of this tutorial to prove it's printing uh, the text Master UI just for the first episode So now everything about widgets is going to be done in our player controller So inside of our player controller we're gonna cast, uh, not cast, create a widget widget is going to be master UI it's going to be promoted to variable call it master UI reference underscore and this is going to be reference when we use it inside of our player character so now all it's left to do is add to viewport and on our event begin play now if I press play I'm going I'm going to get master UI in the top corner so that's set up correctly. As you can see, we set that up. Perfect. Everything is done here and project is set up and ready to go. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about the character movement and how to create one from the scratch. So make sure you stay tuned and see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.